everybody welcome back to hollywood sports guys right now we're going to talk about immersive environments immersive immersive environments and in all my pre previous video guys i talked about um, identifying your team captains and snapshots when it comes to franchise if you missed that video right after this video you can click on the link down below guys i gotta click a link down below or you can go ahead go and watch my previous video but right now guys let's talk about immersive environments and basically they're talking about uh, using more of the frostbite engine and franchise with the addition of immersive environments it says while playing as a coach or owner you'll be exploring your coach your coach's office if your coach has won a Super Bowl, you'll see a Lombardi trophy on the shelf. So I think that's pretty good, man. You, so if you win Super Bowls, or maybe you win a, a, a NFC championship, maybe that stuff would be in the background too. But it's saying if you won a Lombardi trophy, you would see it on the shelf in your office. Now I hope that uh, that environment you see right there on the screen, where the coach is sitting at his desk typing, I hope that's a movable environment, more. Uh, interactive environment i hope uh, instead of just being a screenshot but i don't know but at least if you win the super bowl your trophy will be in the background on the shelf now i think that's awesome guys they so they adding some stuff to it guys and put it make us get more immersive in it now if you look at this screenshot right here it says if you're a player you're playing as a player you will see your player in the locker room as he prepares for the game so that's pretty good right there, man. You know, again, we, we normally used to these screens right here, start weekly training, uh, play season game in advance week. But at least you'll see your, your different player if you're playing as a player. Now let's go to the draft screen. Um, another thing they want us to give us experience is, is that with the NFL draft in Madden, guys, in a brand new way. Uh, the draft stage presents, pre presents which team is on the clock. So I guess the Raiders are on the clock right now, and it says who their previous pick was on the giant video boards. So I, I'm not, I'm kind of confused, but anyway, it's going to show who your previous, who the previous pick was on the giant video boards in front of the crowd. So you see that little crowd there? That's pretty good too. Um, so I'm hoping that's a, a, a immersive type of background where you heard a crowd making noise. Um, you can hear the announcer in the, in, the, in the background, stuff like that. So I'm hoping it's more of an inter interactive type of background when you're doing your draft. Also, when you pick, when you make your pick, your draftee will be sporting his new uniform while his ratings and development traits are revealed. So here's that screenshot right here. You see Peyton Clawson, guys. He shows a, a, a draft analysis as a good pick. Um, it shows his player profile. Then you, it shows his player archetypes. And he's an overall 81 left guard. And I like that because now the archetypes are going to change the way we play this game, man. And the way we choose our players. Like I mentioned in uh, my video, uh, my hands-on impressions video, is that you look at it, he's a power left guard, right? His archetype is power. Now, he's a power guy, so most likely if you're going to draft a power guy, a power left guard, most likely most of your runs going to probably be up the gut between the guard and the center or between the, the guard and the tackle, right? Since he's on the left side, you're going to be running between uh, his him and the center or you can run between him and the tackles. You're not going to be pitching. Maybe you don't want to pitch. You just want to run right up the gut. So him as a power left guard would be great for that scenario, his archetype. Now, if you want him to be a pulling guard, he probably wouldn't fit that if you're looking for a nice pulling guard because his agile number is a 75. Now, based on this game, 75 may be good as an agile left guard. Okay? But if it's not, then you'll once we know what, our, what the ratings are and what the limitations of our teams are, this is going to be great because that 75 agile number might be good enough to be a pulling guard okay but his pass protector is a 77 so is that good we don't know yet as far as the ratings go with these archetypes whether that 77 is going to be a good enough number for him to be a pass protector but he is definitely his archetype is really a power left guard so you like i said you can run it up the gap in between the tackles in between the center you're not going to be doing most tosses at least not to his side Maybe you want to do a toss. Maybe your right guard 
it has better numbers when it comes to uh, agile, where your uh, your guard's gonna pull out there in front on these sweeps and on these tosses. So guys, I think you can really have control of your team. It says these amazing environments deliver an immersive experience franchise while you build your ultimate dynasty guys so you can actually have control in building this thing the right way and you don't have to necessarily go off overall which is this guy Peyton Clawson is an overall 81 so if he's overall 81 I'm, I'm guessing that's pretty good as a power left guard okay and so maybe that pass protector 77 and his agile 75 rating might be pretty good since he is an 81 overall left power guard all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a real quick video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And, man, let's do it together. Man, let's do it together. And don't forget, guys, if you didn't see my pre previous video, click on the link down below in the description to see. If that video is all about team identifying your team captains and snapshots in your franchise mode. And as always, until next time, everybody. So stand by right after this video for my next video. Thanks for watching.